Katie here from Little Brody Gardener. It is July 12th. Um, we're about two months into our prime growing season here in Zone 6B, Rhode Island. Um, and I wanted to give an update on our potager vegetable garden. So we're gonna walk over there now. Here's the tomato bed. I'm doing a lot of pruning. Tying. Got some super sweet 100s. Should be ready pretty soon here. Giant orange marigolds. Something is eating our basil. But I am super excited about our squash tunnel. On the left side of the tunnel, we have angel hair spaghetti squash, which is supposed to be a smaller personal size spaghetti squash. We have several. They're growing up this trellis, which is made out of a cattle panel and T posts. And on the other side is a delicata squash. That's a little bit further behind, um, but it's also a variety that takes a lot longer to grow and mature. Over here on the other side of the tomato bed, we have a zucchini. Which I'm getting a zucchini almost every day now. The eggplants um, are really starting to look pretty good. It's starting to grow quite a bit. And the peppers are looking good too. Actually have some fruit setting on there. Teeny tiny little babies. That's a poblano pepper. Looking nice and green. Jalapenos, bell peppers. It's gonna take a while, but they're looking a lot better than they did. On the end here is uh, my Jetstar tomato and some really good looking tomatoes. But we had a very humid and wet couple weeks here and I think we've got some blossom end rot. Unfortunately. Over here on the other side in the brassica bed, we've been having lots of trouble with rabbits eating broccoli, cauliflower, kale, Swiss chard, and um, the last straw was this morning when we noticed a zinnia that was about to flower. Heads come to the rabbit, so we're building a fence. And that's going on in the background here right now. Luckily, still have some zinnias that haven't been touched. 
Fingers crossed those guys make it. In the middle of this bed we still have some radicchio that I've basically just left in here uh, as a sacrificial snack for the rabbits. And then on the end is our legumes, our beans. Um, which we've got a couple nice harvests of the green beans. But these other beans have also been a little chewed up. In this back bed here, um, we have our asparagus, which is only in its first year, so we haven't eaten any of it yet. And then my overflow of tomatoes. These are all the heirloom tomatoes. This one on the end here is a Mr. Stripey's, and I kind of messed it up. I let it grow into two stalks instead of one. But got some tomatoes on there. I added another steak for this other side. Some nice tomatoes coming. The aromatica basil. And this is the mortgage lifter tomato. Just waiting on those to blush and ripen up. And uh, Cherokee purple. And next to that is black crim tomato. Got all kinds of tomatoes in here. Just not any that are ready to eat. And then on the end of this bed is a black cherry tomato. So those will probably be the first ones that are ready. Can't wait. On the end of this bed, I had planted um, some cabbage for the fall, but all the seedlings that came up um, got eaten as well, so I'm gonna have to plant something else over there. And on this back cattle panel trellis, I have the um, Blue Lake pole beans which have reached pretty high here. So just waiting for the bean pods to form on those. And then the last bed back here is the lettuce bed, um, which a lot of the lettuces are stu still doing well under this 30% shade cloth. Um, but I think it's gonna be time to take out the flashy trout back lettuce bolting. Um, but some of these remains are still doing well. The mirror lettuce on the end is doing well. Um, onions, getting pretty close to harvest those. Carrots. I had some beautiful sweet peas um, flowering on the trellis here. Um, but there was a horrible aphid infestation. Um, so I ended up cutting a lot of that back. And we'll see if uh, we're able to get some more nice flowers. 
more onions on the side here. And then in the grow bags on the patio, we have our potatoes. The red potatoes on the left have completely died back and it's been almost two weeks. So those are coming out in a couple days here. The Yukon gold potatoes on the right um, are just starting to die back. So those will be another couple weeks before we get to harvest those. There it is, the potager.